Hi guys, hello. I hope you're really good, guys. And yeah, this is your girl Adri, and thank you so much for tuning in again. If you're new, if you are a new subscriber, please, please, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and leave your comment. Today's video is about metric pass requirements, so I hope you guys don't mind me looking down because I have my notes over there. As I've already indicated, that today's video is about metric pass requirements. Um, okay, everybody wants to pass their metric, guys, right? but then you have different levels of the pass, which is what I like about metric because you get to choose which pass do you want. You see. So it's easy guys, you have three options to pass your metric. So the first thing that you have to know about our metric pass requirements is that um, we have three levels, we have three different passes, which are still okay, because they are still a pass, okay? they are three levels of metric pass. So we have um, the higher certificate, the diploma, and the bachelor, which was previously known as the exemption. Remember that we have different cognitive levels. We have, we are different. So that is why we have different passes. So each and every one of us has a where they belong. So, um, there are pass requirements for each and every level. So I'm going to start with the highest certificate. So for the highest certificate, you have to have um a forty percent in your home language. Your home language, remember, it can be that um your Sipedi, your Chivenda, Stonga, Isizulu, Swana, Sisoto. Yes, those you have to make sure that you have a forty percent in those. And there are those that are doing English as their home language. You have to make sure that you get forty percent in that English, in that home language. Whatever the subject that you registered as your home language, you have to make sure that you get a forty percent. And then you have to make sure that you have um forty percent in in two other subjects. 40% for your home language, 40% for two other subjects, and then a 30% in four other subjects. And then the basic requirement about this higher certificate pass is that you need to at least, at least pass six over seven of your subjects. Right now, we'll go through the pass requirements for a diploma, which is a D. So for you, in order to obtain a diploma pass on your NSC, you have to make sure that you have a 40% in your home language, a 40% for three other subjects excluding life orientation, and then you need to make sure that you have 30% for English, which is the language of teaching and learning. With this diploma pass requirement, you have to make sure that you have um, passed six out of your seven subjects meaning you can fail one and then still if you fail one subject please make sure that you still meet those requirements because if you meet all these requirements but then you have a 39 percent for your home language it is no longer considered a diploma it is something else with this pass you can apply to study for a diploma at a tivet college or at a university of technology since you don't know what you're gonna obtain it is safer and much more safer to apply for both the university of technologies the universities as well as the tivet colleges so that whatever pass you obtain you will be able to get a space to study something so yeah and right now we're gonna move to our last level this is the last level you only have three levels it's either you get a d an H or a bachelor. If you don't get any of this, then that's a fail. A fail. Yeah, a fail. It's not a nice thing to say, yeah. I'm really sorry to say this, guys. But then I have to say it. Okay, let's move to our bachelor our bachelor's pass. When they say, ah, oh, I have a B. This is what they have on their statements or on their certificates. Or they have this or more. Not less than this. You have to make sure that you have um, a 40% in your home language that is compulsory. You can get six distinctions, but then if you get 39% or anything less than 40% with your home language, it is no longer a bachelor. So you have to make sure that you get a 40% in your home language, a 50% in four other subjects, and then you have to make sure that you have at least, which is a minimum, at least a 30% in English. Then that is your bachelor. I'm going to repeat again for the bachelor's pass. Please make sure that you have the following in order to obtain a bachelor metric pass. 40% in your home language, 50% in other four subjects, at least 30% in English. Make sure that you pass at least six over seven of your subjects. But remember, these are the metric pass requirements. They are not university entry requirements. So, which is a topic for another day. With a bachelor's pass, you can apply to study for a bachelor's degree at a university a university of technology a tivet college or any registered higher institution in south africa i hope this video is so useful to you please make sure that you subscribe to this channel hit the notification button so that you get notified whenever i post a video make sure that you like this video give it a thumbs up then make sure that you leave your comment below yeah 
and i know we are in a pandemic we all have a bigger problem but then life has to go on life has to move on so that is why i have this video even though i know it might sound like for what we are in a pandemic will i even survive it but then please make sure that you stay positive you continue to work hard study 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 nobody likes studying even myself i don't like studying but then because i have to i do it anyway so till we meet again